What is happening, Magnus Sykes? You know, I could have swore they were toying with this, but I didn't know that uh, they actually were super serious, but I guess they are. So, excuse me. On comingsoon.net, we have an article here that says Sony Pictures has just dated a Venom movie for October 5th, 2018 on the heels of Warner Brothers Pictures announcement this morning that James Wan's Aquaman is swimming from October 5th to December 21st, 2018. Comes word from Sony Pictures that another comic book adaption is taking Aquaman's October slot. The studio has just dated a Venom movie for October 5th, 2018. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. First appearing in the comic book series and in, as an alien costume worn by Spider-Man in Marvel's The Amazing Spider-Man 252 in 1984, it was several years before the creature left Parker and merged with photographer Eddie Brock, forming the anti-hero known as Venom. Since then, the character has appeared in a variety of different forms and bonded with several different hosts. In the ultimate Marvel Universe, the suit has a more terrestrial origin, created by Parker and Brock's scientist parents in an attempt to cure cancer. More recently, the Venom symbiote has been moving between hosts, including Mac Gargan, a.k.a. the Scorpion, hmm. and Peter Parker's old high school rival, Flash Thompson. Venom previously appeared on the big screen, played by Topher Grace and Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. Since the release of that film in 2007, rumors have persisted about a solo Venom movie, but various iterations of the project have failed to materialize. Yeah, so I was kind of like thinking, you know. It was reported that last year that a Venom movie was being planned, but that it would likely not tie to Sony's Spider-Man franchise. Hmm. Which with the Civil War debut of Tom Holland as the web slinger is now set in Marvel's cinematic universe. Whether or not those plans have changed remains to be seen. Check back for updates as they become available. That was it, hmm. Figured they would do that. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah, uh, I got a buddy that keeps up with the comic books a lot. And every once in a while, me and him will run into each other and talk. And he'll tell me, you know, what's going on with different characters. And I was really surprised when he told me about the whole Flash Thompson uh, thing. I was like, wow. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? He's like, yeah, man. You know, so um, my first experience with Venom was back in the 80s. And I had a friend that was, he's the one that got me into comic books. And he uh, he was collecting. I think it was the eighties. He was collecting um, Spider Man, and he's also the one that they introduced me to Tom McFarland. And he was collecting these comic books, and I just remember seeing the artwork and thinking, like, "Wow, this is incredible. This is different than I'm used to seeing in Spider Man." Like, so I started collecting them too, and I can remember Venom and a few of them. I remember that, and I remember he had to kind of explain to me who he was and stuff because I remember Spider-Man having a black suit but I wasn't collecting him then and uh, then I ended up buying a graphic novel that was like all of the Venom comics together you know of him and Spider-Man's fights and stuff like that and I know I still got it around here somewhere but Venom yeah quickly became a favorite villain of mine for Spider-Man you know and uh, it's cool you know he's, he's a cool character Eddie Brock is who I want to see that's how they need to start it off, you know, some form or fashion. Uh, but uh, post your comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Of course, if you did not, you can kiss my black derriere. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.